So here we have been given a circuit and basically what we have to use to solve this question is the fact that if resistances are connected in parallel then this is the expression to get the final resistance and if they are connected in series then this is the expression to get final resistance. Now here 6 and 12 are in parallel so this circuit diagram can be converted into a circuit diagram of this type so this is 6 and 12 if you combine using this formula you get a 4 ohm resistance here there is a 4 ohm resistance here as well already this is a 3 ohm resistance this is a 5 ohm resistance and there is a 12 volt battery. Now there is a current I which is going into the circuit and which divides into I1 and I2. Okay. Now next we see in this diagram that 3 and 5 are in series, 4 and 4 are also in series. So and overall this thing is in parallel to this one. So if I simplify this thing, 4 and 4 gives 8, this also gives 8. So there are 8, res 8 ohm resistance in both the arms of a parallel thing. So this gets converted into a 4 ohm resistor finally which is connected to a 12 volt battery. So the current in the circuit the net current I that is flowing into the overall circuit is given as to be 12 by 4 that is equal to 3 amperes. Now if you see both I1 both the branches in which I1 and I2 are going are having 8 ohm resistance. So the current 3 amperes divides equally in I1 and I2 and both I1 and I2 are given as to be half of 3 that is equal to 1.5 amperes. What we need to find out is the potential difference across the 5 ohm resistance. Hence the, the current flowing through 5 ohm resistance is 1.5, the resistance is 5 ohms. So the potential difference V or the potential difference V is equal to 1.5 into 5. So the final answer is 7.5 volts. So option 2 is the right option.